Hi, everyone. Welcome to week one of the season of heart. And it's all about sprays, tags, and found objects. So I'd like to begin with tags. <laughs> what you see here is the culmination of um, our 100 day collaboration. Claudette and I worked on a series of tags as prayer flags and it was a lot of fun maybe you followed along but the fact that tags was one of the items that we had to work with this week really had me stumped it's not that I'm tired of them it's just that I I guess I was looking to use it in um, a different way so that was the struggle for this week and I'm going to walk you through my process and um, see how I ended up with what I ended up doing. So instead of using a traditional tag, if you will, I started to pull um, other things that can be used as tags. Nothing new here. So this pile all right, I started pulling um, game cards and flash cards, you know, vintage, vintage collections, if you will, and uh, they're different sizes. So this is how it all started. Now these cards are tiny, but of course anything can be made turned into a tag. So here's a better look at these and um, try looking for a particular word in that pile. That's, it's just impossible. But anyway, so let's let's start with these. These are um, old, uh, I forget the technical name for them, but they're words teach you how to spell and read. Um, I love these. I don't know if I'd ever use them. I certainly don't want to cut them up, but you know, it's part of the collection that I have. So there's also letterpress. These two are by Wendy Addison and more flash cards. There's a library card. I don't have to point them all out. You, you can tell what they are. Now this little tag is actually from, uh, it's a, a scrapbook die cut. And that's another thing, pull out your scrapbook papers and cut them down to the right size that you need. You can, um, you know, certainly use that and add some plain paper to the back if you want a journal, you know, paint over it, anything, anything will do. So I wanted to show you, here's um, a flash card, and this again can be cut down. I just covered it up with um, inks sprayed with water, and that turned out nice. Actually, I was going to use that, but then I switched gears. So this is where my mindset was um, as far as tags were concerned. I wanted to use up, or, or these were potentials, Let's put it that way, rather than um, ready-made tags. And then I went through um, some things and and thought, again, you can use anything to make tags. And these are tags, tiny ones, that I had stitched fabrics on. Let's get a closer look here. And I could certainly have used these. Again, having something already prepared was, was my whole goal in this. And I really wanted to stick with it. So that's why I was, I was struggling. Um, product tags, clothing tags. These are great too, because you can just gesso or collage on top and the shapes are, are fun. Then I pulled out some notes, notes that had hearts on them. That one there's from Christy, the one previous was from Jana. This is Tracy, 
There's one from Amy, um, a couple from Estelle, and um, a sticker from Jennifer Mercedes. So again, oh, and here's a tag from Kristen. Um, these are fun too, to use as is. Again, I wanted, the theme was heart, so heartfelt, things that have meaning, things that I already have. That's a vintage postcard, obviously. And button cards. These are fun. Now, if they're too bulky, you can certainly remove the buttons, um, turn those into tags. These wouldn't work because of um, all the bulk that it would add. Oh, there's an old card from the Brave Girls Club. Does anybody remember that? That was great. So these were all heart themed. So I pulled that out to show. You can just punch a hole at the top. And playing cards. These are from the 60s. There's the Queen of Hearts. And so just, again, some quick ideas of things that you could utilize for tags. Okay, so the next thing to tackle were my journal pages and yes, sprays. Again, I didn't want to work directly on the papers. I wanted to use what I had. So having gone through my stash, I knew that I had some heart themed like uh, papers. So I pulled, I pulled these and I really love that teal, that turquoise color. Um, and the pale pink and then the darker um, colors so I just uh, went for it spent a lot of time with these and uh, in the next segment I will show you how it all turned out okay so I sat with this for a while after I worked on the composition and the more I just let it sit, the more I liked it. I got the teal in there, you have the essence of hearts, you can see them, yet I don't feel like it is too overpowering. You know, there's, there is a lot of color there. I love the contrast and for me, there's enough white space. So again, I this one really grew on me and I, I really didn't want to cover it up. So then I had to think of ways to do that. I mean, if you're working with tags, you can always use them, um, you know, very loosely so that there's movement and you can see what's behind it, but it still wasn't gelling for me yet. So. I had to sit with this for a while and next I'll, I'll show you what I ended up doing. Okay folks, I'm going to do my best with this voiceover because I'll try to match it with uh, what you see here the best I can. So beginning on the left, um, when I finally realized that this was the way to go to preserve the background. Um, that's when things really started to roll. So I have, I have this six by six cellophane bag and I just cut it down to size and stitched the left, the opening there with uh, fabric and cut it down from the top to fit. And then I used double sided tape and I love how it turned out. And I lucked out because I found this sticker by Kelly Make Friends. And I thought it was perfect. So there, you can see the background when there's nothing in the pocket. And I consider this this what you're looking at uh, as the bones um, of the layout. On the right, I'm using a vintage old Rolodex card. It's very thick, very heavy, and um, I went ahead and used spray inks on the back. I love the Payne's gray. I love the, the boldness. I have um, 
a label there, the deep listening and the one on the far right. Those were both uh, made by Marianne Moss, I think from back in 2009 or 11. And I just love them. I'm so happy to use them. On the right, again, to preserve the background, all I did was spell out heart to heart. And I just added a lot of scribbling around it because I didn't want straight dark lines to make the lettering pop. So I think this, this worked, at least for me. So I used just a number two pencil and a fine tip Sharpie. And the messier, the better. But again, I'm, I'm, I wanted to really be mindful of this project and everything has meaning. And on the cover here, I, I'm glad I went for the black and white and remember Tim Holtz's paper dolls and these two, perfect. In the back, I have a die cut from my own painted papers from a different pro project last year. The quote, I don't want to mispronounce the name, but I, it got lost in all the paper scraps all over the place, so I'll have to look for that and uh, attribute that quote, but I thought that was so apropos. Whew! Uh, did I cover everything? Okay, I think what we're going to talk about next are, um, the, oh, more. Oh, yes, um, you know, if you don't have little cellophane bags, of course, use page protectors or even um, packaging product packaging that works really well anything so there you go that shouldn't be too difficult to find and make and um, I got the idea I'm gonna talk more about uh, the dynamic duo of Christy and Kristen my lovely friends who are um, really experts on tags as well and collaborators all right so Let's talk about what I decided to put in the cellophane pocket there. Now, I have a bunch of tags that are already, um, already have backgrounds, already have paint. And so again, this was a result of that class that I took by Christy and Kristen. So here's the original size and I cut it down so that it would fit into the pocket and all I did was I added more letters to spell out heart and used a little die cut heart I think that's by Tandy Art um, and then stitched just machine stitched around I like the candy cane striped uh, um, string there very simple and there's room on the back if I wanted to journal okay, one down this tag means so much to me Claudette had sent me four of these tags and I love the texture and I love the, the color it's perfect um, anyway the sentiment there is uh, by DJ Pettit and um, yeah it's from one of her photos that I have and I've held on for many many years and I just love the sentiment so I stitched it to uh, the tag with some sari ribbon behind it and this little gem those are dried flowers also from Claudette that she laminated so you can consider that another tag. Anyway, her tag was the same size. I trimmed it just a little bit on the side and on the bottom, and you bet I kept that extra piece as well. So we can consider this a twofer. Um, so got to be careful adding these elements in, but there you go. That's a precious one. So this might look familiar to you. I have this in my stash. I have a bunch of these after taking Christy Nazaro and Kristen Peterson's class, Tag Sewn Connected, um, an affirmation journal workshop. I highly recommend it. And I actually did a video walkthrough of this journal. Um, anyway, 
I remembered I had a bunch of these and I thought it would make a nice addition for this layout. And by the way, the hand stencil was designed and made by Megan Wisner Quinlan and I will link her Etsy shop below so that if you're interested you might want to grab one. Next up, do you guys remember Moo cards from back in the day? Well this one is by Pam Garrison and that heart there is just a um, scrapbook die cut that I had. The words are uh, by Kelly Mae Krenz. And then at the top, I just made a simple tag out of um, uh, handmade paper by Claudette. And so four tags to go into that uh, window pocket there. And I can't add any more. It just, it doesn't have a gusset and I don't want to risk tearing it. And in fact, after filming, I decided to pull out the big, um, the large tag and just left the three in there. And the beauty of having a pocket, any pocket like that, is that you could just switch it out anytime you want to. And I think that covers everything. So <laughs> thanks for listening to all this, but uh, it's the only way I could explain that it was quite a process to get through but I'm really happy with uh, everything, even the struggle and just taking my time. So sometimes that happens more often than not. And uh, anyway, I'll leave you with uh, more detailed pictures coming up. So until next time, take care, stay creative, and I'll see you then. Bye everyone. Thank you.